Come on in, come on in. This is a special next gen NCLEX report. You guys know I usually, you know, I usually do not go live on Fridays, but I just could not wait to tell you guys about the spring 2023 update that just came out about next gen NCLEX. So um, if this is your first time joining me, my name is Professor Regina Callion. I will be discussing all things related to next gen NCLEX and helping you get prepared for it. I just could not wait to discuss the beta testing results that came back about these next gen items. And it's very shocking to me, but not shocking in the same way. Shocking, but not shocking. Real nursing students just had an actual experience with the next gen items. And their comments, their feedback was gathered. And then the National Council of State Board of Nursing published. <laughs> published it. And me being the NCLEX lover that I am, I got a hold of it. And I said, let me tell the Remar nurses, because since November, I have been talking to you guys about preparing for this NCLEX. I have been saying, hey, 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 get into my NCLEX review, the trial version of my NCLEX review. At least do that. There is something you can be doing to prepare yourself for next gen NCLEX. Well, it's here now. It's basically here. And this is the findings, guys. Okay, so student beta testing was done and the entire reason why it was done was to approve whether or not the next gen items can move forward April 1st. That was the entire goal of doing the beta testing to see, hey, when a nursing student sits down and they log in and then they begin to take the test, does it behave in the way it's supposed to behave? So what happens was 135 next-gen items were exposed to senior nursing students, okay? RNs and PNs, all right? For the RNs, there was over 100 RNs from the U.S. and Canada. The PNs that took these next-gen items were only for the, for the U.S. They were only for, from the U.S. And that's because the practical nurses in Canada, they take a different exam. So um, what I'm talking about, if you're just joining me, is I'm talking about how it went for these senior nursing students taking NCLEX, the next-gen NCLEX, how it went for them. So... The, the, again, the, the whole entire purpose was to see if at April 1st this could launch or not. Also, go ahead and ask me questions if you have questions about Next Gen NCLEX. I'll be answering them too. So anyhow, bottom line is the exam works. All of the Next Gen items, when you take them, will open. They will behave pro appropriately. The tabs will be clickable. Highlighting works. Bow tie works. It all works. The students on occasion did experience some restarts, restarts. And so what restarts are, restarts are essentially you're taking your test and then all of a sudden it no longer progresses. Your test no longer functions. You, so you have to close out the test and restart it. So nursing students did experience restarts. Now, restarts can be very nerve wracking because you're finally in a groove and you're taking questions and you're feeling confident. And then all of a sudden the test, you know, acts bunkers or crazy. Um, but what, what the thing is that restarts can actually happen now. So all of the restarts that happened had nothing to do with the next gen items. Uh, shout out to shout out to Lutney. Congratulations. You passed your NCLEX on Tuesday. I love it. You're officially a Remar nurse. I always have to pause for the cause and acknowledge my Remar nurses who are winning. Thank you so much. That's amazing motivation. Somebody needs to read that and believe too that they will pass. Hey, you passed NCLEX RM with V2. Oh my goodness. I oh, Listen to me. I need you to email me this right here. 
just email support at remarreview.com, support at remarreview.com, because I want to give you something special. If you did, um, if you did, if you do a testimonial, I'm going to give you something amazing. You don't even, you can't even, I can't even say what it is, but just email me, please. All right. Cause I was looking for people who were passing NCLEX with V2. Um, so, all right. <sighs> Oh, okay. So restarts. Let me get back to restarts. So anyways, all of the nursing students that experienced restarts, they were able to restart their exam. And the goal, if you have a restart, is to just make sure you have the appropriate amount of time left that you're supposed to have. So anybody that experienced that did get their time back with um, the appropriate amount of time. Okay. So that happens, but that can happen now too. You can get restarts now, but it had nothing to do with the next gen. So, so far, next gen items are all working carefully, closely, perfectly. Okay, this is where the results come into. So as far as the results that came back in, this is what we know. We know that the RNs and the PNs performed similar. That's, that's very interesting to me, right? The PNs and the RNs performed similar on next-gen items. Mm, they said that they answered about 118 items. They said that it took them less than two hours to do these items and that the PNs and the RNs were only taking about one minute to do these items. Now, <laughs> listen to me. You guys... Y'all see when we do our next gen items, or if y'all are in my question bank, when you do next gen items, how long does it take you to do those items? How long? How long does it take you to read the labs, read the nurse's notes, read the diagnostics? The labs, the nurse's notes, the diagnostics, the medications, okay? They are saying that the RNs and the PNs are doing these in one minute. Another thing, another thing that I thought was interesting was that the majority of the senior RNs and PNs who did the beta testing said this. They said, we are not preparing for next-gen NCLEX, meaning that they had no review program. They were not actively preparing for these item types. It's astonishing to me. That's astonishing to me. The candidates who were chosen, who were selected to do the beta testing for the next-gen items, the majority of them were not preparing for next-gen NCLEX. Another thing, I'm gonna I'm let y'all just think about that. Another thing is this, during the portion where the students could get feedback, could give feedback to the actual NCLEX, they were asking the NCLEX to tell them how they were doing. They wanted to know how they were doing on the items. I'm trying not to get too excited. I'm trying to speak very carefully the next things that I'm saying. But if you know, then you know. Let me just say this. The NCLEX is a business, okay? The business is in a direction to either pass or fail you. That's what they do. They do not give you detailed information into how well you do or how poor you do. They don't do that. That's not what they do. It is not the experience of any nurse ever to get their NCLEX results and get any kind of real insight into what they got right 
or what they got wrong. Okay. That's not going to ever happen. And so if a nursing student is looking for the NCLEX to help them prepare for the NCLEX, specifically next gen NCLEX, they're going to have a very difficult time, very difficult time doing that. Okay. You guys have to understand it is your responsibility. It is your responsibility to make sure before you get to this exam, you already know how you are doing. You already have a sense of if you are doing well or if you understand the material because next gen NCLEX, current NCLEX, past NCLEX, they don't do that. They're not going to do that. And so it was astonishing that nursing students who are testing, because all of the senior nursing students that took this beta test have to test after April 1st. So I'm hoping that with their experience, they, they leave understanding that I have to do something my own self. Because if I get to this point and I don't know this information, it's on me. It's on me. This is not an example. I mean, y'all know it, it takes me <laughs> when we do our NCLEX questions. Sometimes, honestly, it takes me longer than a minute to read the nurse's notes, the labs, the medications. It takes me longer than a minute because everything that I'm reading, you know, I have to I have to store it not store it, but I have to um, process it. I have to make it make sense. You know, I have to pick out the cues, especially in case studies. And so what I just wanted to come on here and say to you guys is this. The, the, the function of the beta test was only, 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 only to determine whether next gen can launch April 1st or not. It was not to determine whether nursing students were ready. It was not to determine whether nursing schools have prepared nursing students for next gen. It was not to determine whether this was going to um, be beneficial to the, 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 the nursing student body, to passing rates. It's not to determine that. NCLEX is an exam for public safety. It is a business to evaluate the current competency of a nurse on a specific day. That's it. There was no mention to, well, you know, only 30% of nursing schools are really talking about next gen items. None of that. It was no mention that, you know, the majority of these nursing students wish that they had more time to prepare. None of that. <laughs> None of that matters. This thing is happening April 1st, whether you are prepared or not prepared. They just got their final approval that, hey, stuff is ready to go. Hey, we did our part. We told y'all about this. We told y'all it was coming. Didn't give you a whole bunch of information on how to prepare for it. Didn't tell you exactly like, you know, how to think about certain questions or anything like that. But our, we told y'all it was happening. And so now that it happens, right? Now that it happens, I feel like there is going to be, I don't know, there has to be a revolution. There has to be a revolution. And I'm, I'm not using that in a combative term. I'm just using that as there has to be a wake up. There has to be a wake up for all nursing students everywhere. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it is your responsibility to make sure you're prepared. Get into the trial. I can't even say it. Get into the trial version of my NCLEX review. Even if you are like in nursing school and you know that your nursing program has not spoken to you about these things. Canada, I feel for my Canadian nurses. I do. Because y'all have to take this test. Y'all have to take it in French. And it takes, and, and I see the comments, um, you know, it takes me longer. The majority of these nursing students were only, were doing these questions in a minute, 60 seconds, doing these next gen items. I myself, it takes me longer than a minute 
to read the questions. We have, in, in my question bank, we have the highlighting questions. Even if I'm asking you to highlight three sentences that, that indicate infectious processes, they're in a paragraph of nursing notes. So not only do you have to read the entire nurse's note, but then you have to go through, and I was doing it today, right? I know, no, I'm not saying all Canadian nurses have to take it in French. I know all Canadian nurses don't have to take it in French. You have the option, but I'm saying that the NCLEX resources in the US are more abundant than they're in Canada. That's just my professional opinion. Everybody is doing NCLEX reviews. Um, you can, you can, we got nurses doing NCLEX reviews. We got scammers doing NCLEX reviews. We have doctors doing NCLEX reviews here in the US. I don't think Canada has the same degree. So when you talk about the abundance of NCLEX reviews here in the US, they're plentiful. You can find an NCLEX review everywhere. However, Next-gen NCLEX review is something totally different. Next-gen NCLEX review, having next-gen items is like, you know, a needle in a haystack. All right. The haystack is all of the NCLEX reviews that are out there. There are many of them. Next-gen items is finding the needle in, amongst all of them. Because even the scammers will tell you they have next-gen items. But I, I was I was going... Um, I was going back to this idea that, you know, there is such a benefit in knowing, you know, it take me two minutes to read a case study item. So what that means is I cannot become distracted or weighed down when I'm getting simple presentations of, of items, right? Meaning that if I'm taking my actual NCLEX exam and it's not a next gen item and it's not, you know, it's not a next gen item, if I see it, because they're going to be standard, you know, current items on the NCLEX. NCLEX is not all going to be the extended multiple choice, the matrix, the bow tie, right? So if you are exposed to both types of items from a computer system, you've been taking them, right? then you will know, hey, I can't spend a lot of time here. I have to really read what I'm saying, I mean, what I'm seeing, and I have to answer it appropriately. So practice, practice, practice helps you to do that. And then when it comes to a case study, when it comes to a case study, you're like, okay, I know how I do these. I know I have to look at the questions first, and then I'll go back to the case studies, and then I'll go back to the questions. You know you have that time because you are experienced in these next gen items, there is a benefit to being exposed to them early. No way, no way you should be taking next gen items and this your first time doing a bow tie question. No way it should be your first time highlighting the important points from a nurse's note. No way, you know, the rationale questions you should not see. You, you have to make it your personal business to get into my question bank and get those types of questions. Okay. Um, your preparedness with content questions. <laughs> Angela, you're preparing us with content questions in the almighty quick facts book. Hilarious. Hilarious. I love it. Yes. Okay. So listen to me, the highlighting questions, they should tell you, and this is what I'm changing in my, in my question bank. I'm going to say, highlight the sentence, highlight the sentences because that, that is going to help you not so much focus on specific words, but just the sentences, okay? All right, um, what would you suggest, ready to go. What would you suggest for those who are gonna take the exam that already graduated 10 years ago? Um, get into my V2, my V2, V2. Cause you're gonna go over the content, you're gonna get content, which is gonna help you. Content is gonna help you critically think. And I know when you're watching my lectures, it may not seem like, um, you know, it may not seem like, man, this is, you know, high intensity. This is super critical. Like there, there's a process specifically with next gen. The process is get into the lectures. Don't just start off doing a next gen questions. Wait for the question bank. Understand the information. Make sure you understand it. Okay. First, then Go to the Quick Facts book that's going to come with your program. 
and I don't, mine is over there. The quick facts book and then do the question bank. The next gen items are there. All right. Um, how do I purchase? Go to remarnurse.com. Get the V2. Seal say yes, says Carlos, me, I graduated 2008. Regina's V2 has a calendar and I'm just following it and it helps me to be refreshed. Yes, the, the study calendar also, also comes with my program. Okay, everything you need, everything you need. All right, um, but what, what I'll say is this though. Hey, the majority of people who will take next gen, particularly in April, it seems like they will not have prepared for it. And they're just going to go in there blindly to take their NCLEX exam. And the problem with that is that they may possibly fail. And then if they have no direction, what happens is once you take NCLEX and you fail it, statistically, unless you do something very different, you're more than likely to fail again. And so repeat test takers get into a cycle of taking NCLEX, failing it, signing up right away, failing it, signing up right away, failing it. And then they wait a long, long time before they test again. Because you get discouraged after you after you fail something two and three times. Right. You get discouraged. And so I don't want anybody to have that cycle with next gen NCLEX. I've been talking about this since Black Friday, since November. These are certain things we can do to prepare ourselves. These are the little steps we can take to prepare ourselves, right? So now we're here and I see that even after like all of the result, you know, the events we've been doing, the results, all those things, all those things, the majority of people have not found me. They have not found me. Evelyn, how are you taking, um, how are you taking the drag and drop? Are you on the computer or are you on the cell phone? And this is why um, I was on my I was on my website earlier and I was doing practice questions. And if you're in the trial version of my um, my NCLEX review, the question bank is now available so you can access. Let me just log in. If you have the trial version of my review, you can now access the question bank before we didn't you know, we didn't have it available. Now we have it available. Um, so with the drag and drop, I like to do them on the computer. Even with the bow tie questions, even though you can do them on the cell phone, try to do them on the computer and make sure you're dragging in the, in the lateral way. Okay. Let's see here. Comment. I'm Guyana, trained RN, now living in New York. I wouldn't be taking the NCLEX now until my CGFNS. Oh, man, that takes a long time sometimes. Um, what advice can you give me while I wait? Start, start now. Valencia, start now. Because if you are an internationally trained nurse, there may be some things uh, that you may need to learn that are up to the standards of what we do here in the U.S., so begin training now so that once that paperwork is cleared, you're ready to go. Right. You're ready to go. Don't wait for CGFNS. Begin now. Begin now. That's what I would say. Okay. So if you um, if you log into the trial version of my review, you have the 30 day challenge when you come here. Also, you have the ability to watch some of my lectures. But I was going to tell you guys, go to here on the side panel and you can go down to question bank. And then you can create a test. OK. You can create a test, all right? And when you create a test, let me just do, let me just enter a name, next gen, okay? Tutor. Um, you can create a test, and if you want to, you can do easy, moderate, or hard. Now, I'm just putting, um, I'm just putting questions in here. I'm going to do the easy test, and then there is... Well, let's do moderate because I think I have more in the moderate. All right. And this is the trial version of my, um, this is the trial version of my account. I'm doing content with you, but show up. I sign up for the free trial. No, no, no. If you're doing content with me, if you have the full version, don't do the free trial. Do the full version. All right. And you can create 
the items that you have. Now, only the items that are in bold white are available for the trial. All of the other, all of the other items are in the paid version. So you can just like test out some of my items in the trial version, just to see if you like it. If you don't like it, then you have lost nothing, but there is always something you can do. No, it's not only for iPhones. I just happen to have an iPhone, but you can use it on Android. Okay. And then time. And so I'm just creating a test. Okay. So again, if you have the full version of my, um, if you have the full version of my program, you don't need to do the trial. All right. Oh, there we go. So this is an example of a highlight question that you can do. All right. And so you literally, when you hold on, you can read it. And you see, nursing students were saying that they could do these in a minute. It takes me longer than a minute to literally like read through it. This is just the history of present illness of the patient, right? And then it says here, I'm highlighting four findings that, that have to do with a persistent infection. Yes. So the full version of my program, and that includes the lectures and all of the question bank is um, $89, just $89. And that's for three months access that comes with the question bank, the lectures and my quick facts book for three months. How long? Two minutes. I'm saying start out two minutes a question. Okay. So this is asking me for signs of infection. 30, 30 year old female client presents to the emergency room with a persistent cough for more than three weeks. This morning, he coughed out rusty secretions. So that's a sign of infection. All right, so, and you gotta highlight, all right? You're supposed to highlight the things that are signs of infection, okay? Um, I see here, enlarged lymph nodes. So I'm gonna highlight that, okay? And these are the things that you have to do for next-gen NCLEX. Do not wait until um, until you get in front of the test to, to do these types of questions. I'm going to highlight this whole first sentence too, because it says he has a persistent cough for more than three weeks. This is all in my trial version. This is all free. You guys can start doing this today. All right. And then I'm going to say he, it says he has night sweats. Okay. So highlight questions. In my trial version, is it best to do 30 to 45 questions? It is best to do, um, use the study calendar because it depends on where you are in your program. It depends on where you are in your program. All right. Um, so I, that's what I would say. Let's see. I want to address this. The Remar nurse is a scam. Guys, how does she know more about this question? It's not a scam. A scam, a scam would be if I tell you guys, hey, I'm going to give you 3,000 real NCLEX questions. And then I'm only going to charge you, mm, I'll charge you $300. Or if I say, hey, I'm going to uh, give you a whole NCLEX review and then you give me the money and then there's nothing. Those are the types of scams. A scammer is not going to be showing their whole face their whole family coming up every Monday and Wednesday or Fridays and talking to people. That's not how scams work, right? Um, and I know about this topic of next-gen NCLEX because I read every research article. I have been reading, I have been developing my system, this technology for two years now, every single day, except for Saturdays, because I don't do no work on Saturdays. But yeah. So I've been actually put in the work and I know that my review program and me as an instructor, I know I'm not for everybody. I know there are people that look at me, look at my skin, look at my voice, look at my hair and they say, mm -mm. like, I get that. But there is a certain nursing student that resonates with myself, my religious beliefs. Um, and they, they, they learn, they're able to learn, they're able to make a difference. They're able to, um, understand the way that I teach. And so those are the nursing students that I'm here to speak to. 
I know that, um, you know, everybody, <laughs> I know that everybody has their opinion about Remar. I know that everybody has their opinion about me and that's okay because that's really none of my business. My business is the one nursing student who will come on here and say, Hey, I got my license. My life is different. That's the person that I'm on here for. Right. Um, so man, mm -mm -mm. <laughs> all right, here we go. Uh, let's see. This is a good question. Do you think I should wait till graduation to start studying or should I start as soon as my first semester of nursing school starts? I think that when it comes to NCLEX, I think there are certain points in your nursing school journey that having an NCLEX review is going to be beneficial. So even right now, um, you see that when they're beta testing, they're beta testing senior nursing students. So if your goal is focusing on NCLEX, I think you should have a certain amount of education under your belt before you start prepping for NCLEX because NCLEX is a terminal exam, meaning it's at the end of your program. Um, but there's something that you can get if you're just starting nursing school your first semester, and that is Quick Facts. I think you can get your Quick Facts book and you, be, you can begin to have that um, in, your, in your pocket, okay? Okay. All right. That's a really great question. What else? Um, thank you so much. Thank you so much. There is a huge, there is a huge uh, nursing shortage. And so one of the things that I learned is that if you want to help your nursing profession, you should bring somebody in. You should bring somebody in. Becoming a nurse is not easy. You, you guys know that. Our, our clinicals, our application process, all these things. So what I'm hoping to do is bring another nurse into nursing with myself so we can all be in it together. All right. All right. <laughs> Thank you guys. So just going back to, you know, these beta testing results, I find it interesting that the nurses who were chosen to do the beta testing, they performed their questions in, in a minute or under a minute, a minute and under a minute, and they had not been actively preparing for the exam, right? And also they were kind of, I think they were kind of expecting that by participating, I, I, I don't know, I would imagine they thought by participating in the beta testing, they may get some feedback on whether they passed, whether they didn't pass, how well they were doing. And that just was not the case. That just was not the case. So we, we have to understand that when we take the NCLEX, we are not going to get our test results back telling us much detail about anything. Um, Chioma, message me, support at remarreview.com. We'll, we'll get you another quick fax if it wasn't. Will the questions be harder on the new exam? Based off of the results of the beta testing, because that's what I'm speaking for now. Now I'm just speaking for what the numbers are saying, what they're saying. Only 14% of those who took the beta test of the NGN said that it was very difficult. Only 14% said that it was very difficult. So that means that on presentation, the questions did not look difficult to them, right? I'm saying that they believed that they were not difficult, but they didn't get their test results back. So maybe they don't really know how they did. I think for most nursing students, I think for most nursing students, it will be challenging because it's new. It will be challenging because it's new. Even when I looked at these questions, um, you know, even when I look at these questions here, you see that if you're doing, I don't know if you guys can see this, but if you're doing a question like this, this is a select three that apply, right? We've never had a select three that apply. We've never had a um, extended results or partial credit, or if we get a, a item right, we get a point. But if we get an item wrong, we don't get a point, you know? So these are all new things that we will be experiencing. This is an example of um, a question in my trial, right? 
And it like I said, I like I believe that too. Like it won't be hard if you study. Like these are nurses' notes that you have to read. And so the question says, um, we're essentially reading a client who had a high a thyroidectomy. And we're reading the post-operative notes of that client for three days. And then it says here, which electrolyte is expected to be tested for? And so this is an example of a closed drop down. And so closed drop down, okay. Oh, well, I, I must have hit something. I don't know. But I scored a 20%. I got zero questions right, but I got two partially right questions. And so it gave me credit for the partially right questions. Okay. All right. So somebody said, I actually like how it's set up. Hi, Professor Regina. I'm looking for a printout for free next generation. Okay. Yeah. If you want my free next gen guide, actually, if you have the V2, it's in the RN file vault. I just got a message that I need to put it in the PN file vault. So I was on my way to putting it in there. And then I got the beta test results. So I want to just come on here and talk to you guys about the experience of those nursing students. All right. Um, but anyways, so yeah, this was, um, this was all very exciting for me in some way to know that, um, that the exam is definitely happening April 1st and that nursing students in the U S and Canada are taking the exam now. And I do believe that if we continue to do more case studies together, if we continue to, you know, expose ourselves, that things will be a lot better. Okay. Things will be a lot better. And I, I'm happy. I'm so happy with how many people we have in the V2 right now and how many people are giving us feedback on how to make it better. You guys know for when, when I first launched the V2, the price was $89, right? That was our Black Friday price, $89. And you, you were able to get into it. And that was just the content and the question bank. And since November, we have been able to keep the price at $89, not raising the price at all for you guys. And it's been such a blessing to so many people who are like, you know, knowing that they need to do something, but they don't want to spend $200 on UWorld. They want the next gen items and a lot of NCLEX reviews don't have them. So we were able to meet that need. And like I said, I know Remar is not for everybody, but there are people that like the accountability. They like, you know, having the study calendar. They don't mind that the questions can be challenging. They're, they're you know, they're talking about it. And so, um, now that you guys, you always give me feedback on it in my emails. Hey, Regina, can you do this? Can you do this for the V2? A lot of people were asking us for computer adaptive testing. In my first program, we did not have a computer adaptive test. I did not have the ability, the ability to create a computer adaptive test. To be honest, I did not have the technology for computer adaptive testing. And so when we switched over to the new platform, a lot of people were like, no, go back, go back. We want the VT. We don't want the V2. We want the VT. Because the VT was sweet. I'm not going to lie. The VT, I really liked it. Um, but the V2 just allows us to have so much more capabilities for you guys. So we were able to get the computer adaptive testing. So for $89, you now get a computer adaptive test included, y'all, y'all. This is major for us. Um, so this is, hi, Regina, I took my NCLEX on Monday and I passed. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming back and telling me that. My goodness, what? Tell me, are you an RN or are you a PN? Are you an RN or a PN? Let me know. I am looking for people who are going to pass the next gen NCLEX with V2. I really want to know how, um, I really want to know how, how, how it is going to, you know, give you guys that confidence. I actually, I can't wait. I cannot wait because the more, you know, just the more exposure we get, the better the V2 will be. And it's going to help, help everybody that comes but yeah check it out try the free trial um send me an email if you want to talk to me specifically about anything 
Um, I'm I'm your next V2. You're my next V2. Okay, cool. You're my next V2 Inclex passer. That's what I want. I want you guys to have your license. You know, I, I'm expecting the Inclex passing rates to go down. If I'm being extremely honest with you guys. And that is because the NCLEX passing rates are already going down. If you look at it statistically, every time the passing rates are published, they're lower. They're lower than previously. So something is changing in general with the preparation of nursing students. And I'm not saying it's all nursing students and I'm not saying it's all the nursing schools. There's a, there's a lot of different factors. COVID was one of them. If you went to nursing school during COVID, you probably suffered a great deal in what you were able to learn and retain just because everything was so backwards and constrained and restrained. So nursing students that were educated during COVID, they struggled. Right. But now that we're rebounding from COVID, you would think that the passing rates would be going up, but they're not going up so much. Right. The practical nurses are actually doing um, a lot better than the registered nurses right now, which is also kind of interesting. So when the beta test results came back and said that the practical nurses and the registered nurses were performing similarly, I'm like, what is going on? Not to say the registered nurses are better or smarter or anything like that, but usually their numbers in general are higher because their programs are longer. And that's just what it is. Like they, they, are, they have more knowledge because it's slower for them. If you're a practical nurse, your program is like fast, 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 fast. You're doing a lot of hands-on clinicals. You're doing a lot of skills labs and you're doing you know lecture too, but it's a very fast program. So I respect the practical nurses. Anybody that anybody that that finishes a practical nursing program, y'all are the MVPs because those programs are lightning fast. And to have to pass um, NCLEX PN too, which is challenging. So it's interesting to me that the PNs and the RNs are performing similarly. OK, PNs and the RNs are performing similarly, but that's great, too. Right. That's great. Um, but what I'm saying is this, that end of the day, this test is moving forward and you have to be you have to be prepared in your own mind and your own heart that you have been doing what you needed to do. And like I said, there's a lot of people out there talking about next gen. If you go on TikTok, everybody has their opinion about it everybody has their opinion about it. But what you have to find is that, okay, I could sit here and I can listen to what, you know, people are saying and what they're hearing about the exam, or I could be studying myself. I could just be in there taking it head on myself. And that's what I want you guys to be doing. I want you guys to be, instead of sitting around listening to people stress out, stress out about it, find like, you know, they didn't have enough prep or complaining that they didn't have enough prep. You guys know where you can get your next gen questions. You know where you can get your prep from. Do the prep process and then go back and watch those TikTok videos or whatever, YouTube videos. Felicia says, I didn't have clinicals. Mine were in the classroom. I know your program will help me. Yes, it's true. I, and, and that's the truth. A lot of my nursing students who were in school during COVID, they had to take my NCLEX review because they were not even able to do lectures. Like some nursing schools, um, some nursing schools didn't even have, you know, Zoom. They, they weren't even ready for Zoom. And so that's just, you know, that was just something that people had to change. All right. Um, how do I set it to tutor mode? So it's really easy when you go to create your test and you name it, there is two test modes. If you're in the trial version, if you are in the full version, you'll have computer adaptive tests there. There's one computer adaptive test for $89. Just take the one test. Okay. Just take the one test. But when you take it, um, let me, let me answer your question. So if you want to do tutor mode, just press that button there. Okay. You got to name the test in G and whatever. Um, you got to name the test and you put it in tutor mode. And then, so that means that after every time you answer it, you'll automatically get the rationale. 
okay? You'll automatically get the rationale. If you put it in test mode, you won't get a rationale until you finish the entire test, whatever it is, okay? Also, remember, you get one computer adaptive test, and I'll just keep saying this. You will not be able to stop that computer adaptive test and come back to it later, when you pause that computer adaptive test, your test minutes will still be counting down from five hours. You're giving five hours for one test. Okay. Five hours for one test. And so um, when I took the computer adaptive test, I took it last week. It took me four and a half hours to do that test. And that was just me just sitting, reading, not getting distracted, trying to do my very best. I did pass the test. I'm not going to tell you what I passed the test with, but I passed the test. And so if you start that test, be prepared to sit in that test. I mean, you can take a break, but it'll be just like the actual NCLEX where it'll still count down. So I took a 30 minute break. I had to step away from it. I ate a salad, drank some water, came back. Okay. Says, thank you, Regina. I took the NCLEX RN. I appreciate your help so much. I'm so happy right now. Oh my goodness. I cannot even imagine. No, happy is not even the right word for it. When you get your nursing license, happy is not the word. The word is I am elated. I am astonished. I am overcome with joy because this is a huge, it's a new life. When you get your nursing license, it's literally like taking off an old robe and then putting on a brand new, like, you know, robe of gold because you have, you know, this thing that gives you access to pretty much any job. Like if you are a registered nurse, you could be cross-trained for anything. Do surgery, don't want to do surgery, transition to the NICU. Don't want to do NICU, go to, you know, plastic surgery. I, I don't know, whatever you want to do, like whatever you want to do. So I'm so proud of you. I cannot imagine how good it feels. All right. So um, as we're talking, as we're preparing for next gen, as we're preparing for NCLEX and getting our nursing license, there is no excuse why I have 200 people on here. All 200 of you should have my V2. You should have my V2. In the least, you should have the free trial of the V2. That's it. Like, this is what we're doing. This is what we're doing here. We're no longer waiting for anything else to come out. I'm telling you guys right now, this is it. Okay, next gen is absolutely launching April 1st. Whew, we made it, y'all. We made it, but we're ready. We're ready. We're not prepared. I mean, we're, we are prepared. We are not going to be like the others who are just going to be taken by surprise. You did my, you did my computer adaptive test in four hours. You did my, the one in V2 in four hours. Oh my goodness. I needed that 30 minutes. I did mine in four hours and 30 minutes. I needed that 30 minute lunch. Like I needed that 30 minute lunch. And I do, I do plan to take it again. I just have not had the four hours to do it. I'm, I'm like, mm, every time I want to take it, I'm like, oh, mm -mm -mm. absolutely. That's what I said. I said like, I, we priced our V2 seriously so that there was really no, no reason. There's really no reason why you cannot get it. And we were looking at the prices of other reviews you, you know how much they cost. Kaplan, $3.99. You know, ATI, I don't even, you can't even get ATI unless you are in nursing school. And they just put it into your, you know, your overall program cost. NCLEX reviews, just question bank is just, you know, UWorld's question bank is just like $200 just for the question. So ours is $89. It comes with all of my lectures plus the question bank with next gen items. And plus we threw in a computer adaptive test. Um, we're literally giving the technology away for $89. And it's okay. Cause at the end of the day, like 
that's not what it's about. The more that we can help people, the more that we can be a blessing to people, then the more the blessing comes back to us. And it doesn't even have to come back to us. Like it could be good health, right? Um, it could be long life. That's, those are the type of blessings I'm looking for. You know, um, it could be me meeting you guys if when I'm in the airport or um, I went to Aruba for my birthday, right? And I met a Remar nurse in the airport. She was in Aruba too. And she's like, hey, I watched you. I think it was in 2019. She's a nurse now, vacationing in Aruba. And for me to see that, like, God, thank you so much for letting me see this young lady able to, you know, vacation. And she looked good. I mean, like, sis was looking good. She had the braids, the hair, you know, just like living. And I'm like, man, that the, the, the Lord will allow my eyes to see you know, the seeds that, that were planted grow. Like those are the type of blessings that I'm looking for, like peace, uh, you know, like good health, my children going well, meeting you guys, meeting you guys. That's just amazing. Um, thank you so much, Vivian. The Remar family is a, it's a safe place, right? Where we are all learning something together. Um, I have your V2. It's really good. A quiz after your lecture allows you to see what you have learned. No other program does that. It's a recipe. It's a recipe for success. I put the quizzes after the lectures so that you are able to see, hey, do I need to move on? Should I just stay here? And we added the discussion board underneath. So y'all could go back and forth with each other. Y'all could say, hey, I like this. Y'all could say, I don't like this, Regina. Why? Is it? It, doesn't, it doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter. As long as you, as you guys are participating, you are encouraging one part. One person was just like, Merry Christmas. <laughs> it was Christmas morning. And I looked and they were studying. And I thought that was so amazing. Like, you know, I think today is St. Patrick's Day, something like that. It's today St. Patrick's Day. I think today is St. Patrick's Day. So just you guys, uh, you know, in there studying on a daily basis is more than anything that I could have imagined in being able to um, participate with each other and really be a family in there. I don't have to be there all the time, you know, but when you guys are um, able to do that. I'm grateful for the V2. I wasn't working when I found that, that when I found out that it was a thing, when I got my first check right on off the top, I got V2. <laughs> nice. Regina, you and your husband are a true blessing and I'm thankful. Oh man. You don't make me cry. That's so amazing. That's so amazing. Um, and it's, it's, it's amazing to be able to see the investment that you make into yourself. I don't know why you weren't working. I don't know why you weren't working, but, um, when you got a job saying that I'm going to, I'm going to do what I need to do to get out of this current situation and into the next level for myself and the next level for most of you guys is so beautiful. And I, I see it. The next level for you guys is like, you know, a better job, better hours, which is great, but also usually more time with your kids, more time with your mom, your dad, the ability to be able to, you know, go away for holidays or, I don't know, take your kids to Disney World, whatever, whatever, you know, you want them to do, whatever. Um, that's that's the next level. That's what it looks like. And many people don't ever get to the next level because they're so, um, they're just so, I don't know. It's just like some people, sometimes you can't see what you don't know. You can't see what you don't know. And uh, when I get on here and I just say, you know, hey, guys, you can do it. Or you see another person's testimony that gives you new insight into what life looks like or what it can look like. Most of the time, Remar nurses, you know, we are doing the very best in our family circles, right? We've been to nursing school. We're the educated ones. Um, you know, I was the first person in my family to go to college from my mom, my dad, my mom and my dad, they didn't go to college, but I did. And so me going to college was like a huge thing. It was a huge thing. Um, but now, you know, I am hopefully motivating you guys to do more, to do more. You know, what, what is the next level of your life look like? Is it you being an instructor? Is it you being a dean of nursing, you know, or a NICU nurse or a whatever, a specialist, the wound specialist? Get there. Okay, get there. 
I don't know. I don't, I, I don't even deserve you guys. I don't deserve y'all. Y'all are too good to me. Too good to me. So um, just continue to pray. Continue to pray for all of us. All of us as we move towards taking our NCLEX exam, Mark and I will be praying for you guys. You pray for us to make sure that we're able to continue to be um, very present with you. Pray for our marriage, that Mark and I's marriage is strong and fortified um, right now as we are, you know, holding essentially the pressure of next gen coming, the company, Mark and I, we have three children as well. So with him and I having a healthy marriage, we can support all of it, all of it. You know, you guys, you reach out to us, you have needs, you want prayers, you want, you know, just all, all these things. And we want to be there for you guys. So if we just prioritize God, if we prioritize our marriage, our children, Remar, like that's pretty much the order, God, our marriage, our children, Remar, um, we are able to hold it all. But I'm gonna tell y'all, I can't do it without my husband. I cannot do it without my husband. And so y'all pray for him. Y'all pray for him. And um, and by God's grace, we will all be able to, um, we'll all be able to get where we're supposed to be. But it's Friday. It's Friday. I'm going to get back to um, in the, I was actually, I need to put the next gen free study package in the PN file vault. What else do I need to do? <laughs> Give me my order. I need to put that in there. I need to also um, add some more questions to the trial. Right now, I have the easy, the moderate, and the hard version of questions opened in the trial. And I don't, I know I don't have a lot of easy questions right now in the trial. So I did want to put some easy ones in there. You guys are also um, excited about the new products that I'll be putting out. So I'll be working on some of those. What else? Oh, I have a I have an educators webinar on Monday. So nursing instructors will be coming to a webinar that I'm doing on Monday. I really want to encourage the educators to let's start thinking about how we can prepare, prepare our nursing students because it starts in the classroom. By the time they get to me, by the time you guys get to me, it's a little bit late. All right. I want y'all to have it first thing in the in the classroom. So I have that to do. All right, guys, so I'm going to get out of here. It's a beautiful day. I'm so thankful God gave us another opportunity to open our eyes and, you know, work with our hands and have our health. So go drink some water, go get some sunshine, tell somebody that you love them. And let's just be grateful for this journey that we are on. We have to um, know the cat test is five hours. We have to enjoy every season. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Have to, do. Amy, Amy, I got to show this. I've been doing all the hard questions and proud to say it's been good results so far. Congratulations, because those hard questions are hard. So congratulations, Amy. All right. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you so much. God bless you all. God bless you all. And I'll see you later. I'll see you on Monday. We're going to do Monday motivation, okay, today, now, 12 p.m. Eastern time. And 9 a.m. if you're on the West Coast, if you're on the West Coast. Okay. All right, guys. Bye-bye.